What goes up must come down. Um, I noticed that she was kind of crooked, but you want to make sure that they're centered um, on your back. Make sure their their legs are centered, and and you want to make sure that the material goes, you know, around their. I like it around her calf muscle because I don't like it where it cuts. It, I don't know if it's cutting off the circulation or not, but I always make sure it's, you know, to where her legs are just kind of comfortably sitting, kind of like this. Or it, it could do a natural hang like that as well, but I like it like this. So anyway, to get her off, all I do is I bend over like this. Yeah. And just make sure you hold on to the baby's bun, bum, and I just undo. And she'll, she'll know when it's time to get off, but she'll still hold on. And then I just usually swing her around like this onto my leg. This is how I do it. And then um, and I just take her off. That's it. Say, yay, thank you. Say, bye-bye. You say, bye, YouTube. There you go. Bye, YouTube. Another way that I wrap my baby is with a piece of material like this it's kind of like t-shirt material so it kind of stretches i know um, a lot of people would rather use the cotton that does does not stretch but i rather use this so i'll start off by um okay i'm gonna get you putting this around my waist first right so i kind of put it around my waist and i kind of put it between my thighs same way i turn sideways put her on my hip hold her arm and i just hop and bring her around right then I take the part I put around my waist and just bring it over Parker's, uh, her, her back. I got my glasses on so I can't really see and my earrings are away. But I make sure, and you, she needs to be up a little higher, but I'm just doing it just for, so it doesn't take forever. But make sure it goes around her shoulders, okay? So I take this part and I wrap it under my arm like this. And I wrap this across my chest. And I take this and I tuck it. I'm trying to move closer. Tuck it in and fold this top part over. And then I take the bottom part, make sure it's under her butt, like this, her bum, under her bum. And you pull this over her calf muscle, okay, on both sides. And then you tie it. You twist it like this, like you twist. And then you tuck it underneath the material, okay. This is the other way that I carry her. Make sure her legs are evenly spread around. And this is how I carry her as well. She likes this too. See? And the way I take her off, I just bend over, put her, my hand on her bum like this. And I just, but this is about five yards of material. It's the t-shirt material, which it should be a little sturdier, but I found a way to get around it because it does give a little bit too much. To where the, uh, you know she'll start kind of sliding down faster than I would want her to, but um, this like I said, it's five yards of material, kind of like the t-shirt material, and I do the same thing. I put it, make sure it's even, make sure it's even on both sides. I put it around my waist, like I did the purple wrap. Come on, part. You my back. <laughs> Come here. She's playing her piano. <laughs> Come here. I know. I'm gonna put you back. Come here. I promise. I'll let you play. Just demonstrate one more time. All right, same way. I put her on my hips the same way. Bring my arm around. Grab her left arm and slide her on around. Okay? And then I take this and I put it over her shoulders the same way I did. I can't see my glasses. The same way. And these earrings are big. That I did with the purple one. Yep. Okay. So, once you do that, make sure the material is under their bum. Like this. Just tuck it under. And you want to grab both sides and bring it over your shoulders. Like that. So what I like to do, I like, like I say, the like I did the other one. I like to crisscross mine. So I crisscross it. I like to cross it around her butt, back, or whatever. And then I go under her legs like this, so it doesn't cut off her circulation. And then I tie a knot. like this and then I'll go and spread the little straps and I'll even make it wider around my shoulder area and this is how she is you can do it tighter I'm just kind of doing it just to show you all real fast so you're not watching for a long time but um, 
time was a lot tighter than this. But they're in there, and like I said, you can clean it up and do different things. And there are other ways that you can tie your baby with this material. You can do the front carry, like they do the Moby wrap. Um, they, you can do a side carry. There's different little ways that you can do it. But um, hopefully this helps some of you. And this was only a dollar a yard versus paying $50 for a Moby wrap, which is pretty much the same material, same length or whatever. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it helps out some of you. And it's really comfortable for her. You know, her butt's kind of you know, in the little pocket, and you can actually, um, you know, if you want to put this over their back, you can, and kind of spread it out for extra added support, you can do that too. Um, she's about 19 pounds, and right now I don't feel her on my shoulders, but this is why I like this particular carry, because it distributes the weight evenly, and so I don't feel like she's, you know, too heavy. But anyway, to take them off, just undo your, your, your uh, knot, and put your hand under the bone, pull it from under the leg, and do it, hold on, still hold on the whole time. And I slide her around and keep my arm around just in case her torso goes flying. <laughs> and this kind of keeps her too. There you go, good girl. Yep, see, and we made it, bye.